everybody today I just wanted to show you real quick on how to make a quick ant guard for your hummingbird feeder if you've got an ant problem you can use any type of wire you could even use a pipe cleaner if you wanted to the only problem is if this breaks and your hummingbird is glass it will fall and break so in a pinch you could use a pipe cleaner bring it through the hole twist it around you would have to make a regular loop on this end and you can put it through the way I'm going to show you. But I prefer getting a piece of wire and this is what really works for me. It's bendable, but I still use the pliers. I make a little loop and then I make my, my hook and I'm going to show you exactly how I make mine. I'm just, this is just the start. I, I'm going to show you how to make the holes. I use a soldering iron. It's so easy with the soldering iron. I keep one around because I use it for all kinds of stuff. I use it for my flower pots. And here's how I do the soldering iron. And now that you've seen how I do the hole, I string this through the hole. And now I've got that on the bottom. Now, just for stability, you don't need to, but for me it works easier as I decide how far down I want it. And then I take a piece of masking tape. You can use any tape. You don't have to use any tape if you don't want to. But for me, I like rolling a little piece of masking tape. If you were going to do it really for looks, you don't have to. Or you could just even cut the tape in half. But see, this way I know exactly where it's going to sit. And it'll be easier for me to judge. And then on top here, just a little loop. Just so I don't stick myself. And then the hook that's going to go on to the hook of wherever it is. And then from there, you'll see how I go ahead and glue it. I use a glue gun, and you can use aquarium sealer, which would be better. Any type of waterproof epoxy would be good. And as far as cups, you could use any size cup. You can even use a small plastic one like this. Now this one is a very flimsy cup so it won't last long but you know it might last you through the summer or spring I've been using these cups I picked up at the party store and they're hard plastic and I've got some that have been hanging outside for almost two years now so that works too so here we go I'm gonna show you how to put it together how I put mine together you can make them for gifts and give them to people it's so much fun and they work really good so let's get back and see about the hummingbird feeders. How we can save our friends from having to deal with ants. Because once the ants hit the hummingbird feeders, they don't like to go to it. They won't go to it. So let's go. So to make these ant guards that I show you, you can get yourself a soldering iron and just heat it up, make a hole that way. And then you've got a hole. See? Once you have the hole, you put a wire through it. I put a little bit of tape so it can't slip through, see? Now, we're going to stabilize this. The first thing we're going to do is add some glue. This is just to stabilize it. Get it to the way you want. You can add some more. This is just to make it fast. Now, you can always buy them. I'll put an affiliated link on, in there if you want to just buy one. They're not that expensive. I think they're seven, 10, 15, 20 dollars depending on where you get them from. But this is how you would make your own so quick. Any cup, you can use any cup. You can even use a yogurt cup if you've got. I mean, it's not gonna last that long, but you can use whatever you want. Now I need this to dry a little bit. You can also use a, anything that's waterproof, like a fabric glue. Fabric glue is waterproof. You could pour, put that in there. The only problem with fabric glue is that it will have to dry overnight. If you're using a glue gun, it's, it's going to be almost, you know, instant. You'll have this thing done and ready to use in a matter of 20 minutes. 
but any cup the main thing is like this is I'm just trying to get this to set right now the main thing is let's turn this around when the ants come down when the ants come down this will be full of water and they cannot get to your hummingbird feeder underneath they can't cross the water now if the cup dries out they will be able to if enough of them crawled in there and died they'll crawl over each other nasty little things but you know once you've got these full of water they can't get to it now I'm still getting this one to set you could use anything the best glue to use would be aquarium sealer and you can get that at any tropical fish store, pet store. Uh, they're quite cheap too, aquarium sealer. I think the tubes are a dollar or two. Again, you'll have to let that cure and dry overnight. With this, you don't have to. But I just, I just figured almost, almost everybody's got a glue gun. But it is better to use aquarium sealer. It'll last longer. You can make these really fancy. Let's see, this is pretty, oh, it's not quite dry yet. Just trying to get this dry. Let's get this to dry. Now, you want to start getting it inside, too. It's going to have to be watertight. See, now you could hang this up while it dries. And you could come back and add some more. The main thing is, is to get it watertight. That's what we're going for right now. You want this thing watertight. If it's got a slow drip, it's not going to matter, but you really want it watertight. And you can get really fancy with this. You could, let's see, I want to first get enough sealed around and then show you all the little things you can do. Don't worry about looks, unless you do. I don't. It doesn't really matter. This is supposed to be a functional item, not a glamorous item. But you can make your friends some and, you know, go over there if they say they have an ant problem. Now, let's do something different. I've got some rocks here. I've got some rocks in here. The main thing is to keep that stick centered. You want to make sure that it doesn't touch the side. So when it's done, this will become a moat. They'll come down the ants, but they will not be able to get past this and to your feeder underneath. I'm making this look complicated. It's not. Really, it's not. You can have this thing together really fast. It's almost dry. And the rocks will give it a little bit of stability. You could get really cute. You could put shells in here. And, oh, I've made some really cute ones with all kinds of stuff in there. You could... Here's a little cat I've got. Look at that. I could put a little cat in there and stick him in there. Don't worry. Some people are going to ask, oh, is the glue gun toxic? First of all, the glue isn't. But as far as I know, it is not. Nobody's drinking out of this. I've never seen a hummingbird drink out of this. This is strictly to keep your ants out of your hummingbird feeders. And let me tell you, this thing really does work good. This works really, really good. Look at that. Look at that. See how easy this is? And like I said, you could, you know, I went to, I, I went to a party store and I picked up a whole package of these. They were cheap, small plastic cups. You can get them any size you want. You can get them a little bit smaller. You can get them a little bit bigger. And like I said, if I wanted to get fancy, I could put a little kitty cat in there. And she could protect. Look at that. She can, she can protect the hummingbird feeder for me. Isn't that cute? You can do all kinds of stuff. I've really set them up really, really cute. I've put little plastic plants in there and all kinds of stuff. You can test it, and if it's not watertight, you can add some more glue. The best glue, I will tell you, the best glue to get will be aquarium sealer. That will be the best. It will have to cure overnight, but it will be sealed really good, and it can last for many years. This is 
is kind of like more of a last resort um, or something if you've got on hand, because like I said, most people have a glue gun. And it just would make it quick and easy to do. And you won't have to go out and look for anything or buy anything. And that's why I want to do it today with a glue gun. I'm not doing it with a glue gun for any other reason than I think most households have some, have some sort of glue gun. Not everybody has aquarium sealer or epoxy. You can use epoxy. You cannot use white school glue because that will wash off. You might be able to use rubber cement, but I don't generally keep rubber cement here. So today I wanted to use a glue gun just because, like I said, I think everybody's got a glue gun. And if you don't, I actually know you can go to the store and pick one up for a couple dollars. I've seen them even at the dollar stores. And that's it. Look at this. It's done. It could be hung up. It's going to be dry here, oh, in a matter of a minute or two. You just fill it with water. And it's cute. And you hang this to wherever you've got your feeder going. And you hang the bottom. Your hummingbird feeder will go on that. You can make the wire shorter. Any wire you've got will pretty much do. You want to make sure it's bendable so when you hang it, it stays put. That's the main thing. And on the bottom, a lot of your hummingbirds can take a loop because they may have a hook, but I prefer to make a hook. And the reason I prefer to bend it in a hook shape is because in case the hummingbird feeder has a loop and doesn't have a hook, you can put it on. And now you can hang this up, fill this up to the top with water, usually lasts for days the water in there and the ants will not be able to come. The ones that you buy online, I believe there's copper ones, you know, they are going to last a very long time, the copper ones. You'll probably have the copper ones forever. This you won't. But, you know, you can get so cute with this and make your own and you can put, like I said, you got, you got like, look at this, I bought this whole thing with little dogs and cats. I like making things. You can stick dogs and cats in there. I had a little bit of gravel. You know, you can put gravel in there. You can put seashells in there. You can put little plastic plants in there. You got some broken earrings you were going to get rid of. You know, you can put that in there. You can decorate this with anything. You could probably even put a picture of somebody in there and epoxy it up and give it as a gift. You could do all kinds of stuff. So I just want to show you how easy it is to make one of your little ant guards. All you need is a cup of some sort, plastic, so you can make a hole in it. I have made my holes with a hot knitting needle, but you know, I think it might be worth it to invest in just getting a soldering iron. You can get them really cheap at the store. And I use the soldering iron here for everything. I, it, from a lot of my plastic pots, I can cut holes in it. So I keep a soldering iron on hand. I've had this one for a long time. And look, it's so dirty, and I'm using it all the time. But that will make a quick hole. Um, knitting needle is fine, but then you've got to hit it, heat it up, stand over a stove. And if you've got an electric stove, it won't work because you need a gas stove. So that's it. It is ready to go. Now you just fill this with water. I'll show it how it's going to protect my hummingbird feeders since I've been the ants have been on the warpad and I've had ants everywhere so that's it let's go see what it looks like and here they are being used I've got one on this feeder on this window and as you can see the hummingbird is feeding on that one there's one on that window and look at that now the ants cannot get to that feeder they can't cross the water see this one I made plain there's nothing in it but they can't cross it. See how it hangs on? The hummingbird feeder hangs on and it's on the hook. They cannot cross the water. You don't have to put anything in it. I didn't put anything in this one. And that one I decorated a little bit. You can see up there yeah, there's no way that the ants can get to it because they cannot cross the water. And that's how easy it is to make one. You, like I said, any cup that's plastic that you are able to make a hole in to get your wire through, and any wire that's strong enough that when you bend it, even if you can bend it by hand, you don't have to use the pliers. The main thing is it bends and it's, it's going to be strong enough to hold the hummingbird feeder. 
So you just have to check to see what kind of wire works for you. But it has to be, you know, bendable wire and something you can work with. Just cut it, shape it the way you want, and you will have very happy hummingbirds. Those are happy hummingbirds. They have their food and no ants. And that's what the hummingbirds want. They want a feeder that they can feed out of without the ants coming on. So with all that, have a great day. And don't forget to eat what you grow. And for the people that don't know me, did she really cut a hole in her window to hang feeders right through the screens? I sure did. I cut it and I made it where I can open it and close it. And yes, the hooks are attached to my window and I can feed the hummingbirds rain or shine because there's an eave here and the hummingbirds love it in the winter. They don't have to be in the rain when they feed. And so I have two feeders and yes, that is the one that mom raised 10 babies on that hummingbird feeder the past couple years. Have a great day, everybody. And don't forget to eat what you grow. Bye-bye.